Katie Jansen is a student at K-State who spent her Saturday morning cleaning up the banks of the Kansas River. She says that it was pleasing to see so many volunteers at the event. It makes me really happy and really pleased that this many people showed up. I know that it was really tough waking up out of bed and coming here, especially with kayaks and your hands are freezing. It's nice to know that there's this many people willing to go out of their way. Jansen says that one of her passions in life is to help keep the environment clean for years years to come. Yeah, so it's amazing how much stuff you can find. Like, I don't know what this is. I like to think of what I plan to do in the future is being the Lorax, especially doing this is right up my alley, trying to lessen the effects that humans have had on the environment. Batteries like this one have been in the Kansas River for over 40 years, but this year event volunteers were doing their part to make sure that these go in the trash and onto the airboat. We believe that there was a recycling facility somewhere along the river. would take the old batteries out to recycle them, and then the cases were on the back side of the property, and over time, they washed into the river. Bueller says that they began holding this event cleaning up battery cases several years ago, but after the first year, they knew that more help was needed. The first year that we came out here, we thought, well, we'll just uh, come out and we'll pick up some battery cases and we'll take some canoes and we'll paddle them downstream. It was hard work. It was so hard. You see the airboat behind me. We can't get these battery cases off without the airboats. We've tried using smaller boats and they're just too heavy. For Jansen, she says that attending events like this one make you reflect on what you can do to prevent trash from getting into the river. In Manhattan, Jacob Hall, Channel 8 News.